Welcome everyone to this Age of Empires 4 build order tutorial for the Chinese civilization and today we're going to do a Zhuganu rush with two mini adaptations, one where you go for a really super fast Zhuganu rush straight off the bat in the Song Dynasty or you can go for a bit more of an eco approach, get four Imperial officials and then start to crank out the numbers. In any case you start off by queuing up the Imperial official from the town centre, take the starting villagers to the straggler tree and then bring the scout to bring sheep to the berries. Now those villagers that are gathering the lumber there on the straggler tree, six of them, will not drop off the wood at the town center. Before they drop off the wood, they will need to build a mill. So you have to wait for those villagers. You can see I've got them control group just in case. You can see we're just gonna pull them away just before they deposit and they're gonna build that mill. We're also gonna supervise the mill with the Imperial officials. So when they do drop off the wood, it's all supervised and you get extra wood from it. And then the next villager coming out from the town center will go towards the gold, but will build the uh, village first. And of course those villagers that just build the uh, mill, they'll go to the sheep. There we are, there's the village being built and the next village will come out to straggler tree to collect three wood to make 50 so that we can afford that mining camp. Now as you can see it's a bit of a, a bit of micro involved with the Chinese civilization, it's just part and parcel of the civilization but it's such a nice adaptable sieve at the moment in season 3 Age of Empires 4. Now that villager built the village will go to gold and now that we've got one villager on straggler tree, new villagers from the town center will go to food. We'll get one villager to go to food. Okay, so that villager that's collected three wood will deposit the wood in the town center and then go to food. And then we have now started to build that mining camp. At this point, we're gonna be aiming for eight villagers on food. And then once we have eight villagers on food like we do now, we're gonna send one villager to gold. So we're gonna get eight and two, and then we're rocking and rolling, bringing those sheep back home nicely. Now, occasionally as well, we're gonna drop off the food on the mill and then collect the taxes with our Imperial official. We need to do at least two trips with that, um, you know, it's close to 40 collection at a time as you, you know, as you can, but just do it when you can with your APM, depending how fast you can click those buttons. Uh, as long as you get a decent amount of gold in each trip, you should be fine. All right, perfect. Now that we've got two on gold, we're going to send the next two villagers to food to make 10 on food in total. Bring that sheep and uh, yeah, there we are. It's looking good so far. Drop off the sheep and then scout out and about again. We're going to control group one villager off of food to build the Barbican of the Sun. Now something to bear in mind is you want to build the Barbican of the Sun on front of the gold because in season three on the maps the gold is actually really exposed and it's not covered by the town centre fire so that's really what you want to protect. The mill and the berries usually are under the protection of the town centre so you're usually okay. Um, if the berries are really far out then just build the mill closer to the town centre away from the berries and you can build a mill later on. Um, as long as the sheep are safe. That's super important if you're up against the English or French or early aggressive sieves. As you can see, we just did a drop off there of gold collected and uh, now the new villagers from the town centre will go to wood. We're going to get the next six villagers to wood. We're going to pull that one villager away to build that Barbican of the Sun. Once that Barbican of the Sun is built, that villager building will go to gold. Right, so now that's kind of the most tricky part of the build really because the next uh, villagers will go into wood until we get six in total. And uh, yeah, main thing really is now to scout out and about, see what your opponent is doing. And we'll be eyeing up the Imperial Academy for that Song Dynasty pretty soon. We're going to control group four villagers on food because we're going to build the Imperial Academy with four villagers there. And uh, don't forget to, you know, keep collecting that tax on the mill. That'll let us get that Song Dynasty a bit quicker. Um, now you can actually build the Imperial Academy first if you so wish, uh, but if you get the French or the English or Delhi or Ottomans, you, you may actually want to get that Barbican of the Sun um, first. Alrighty. So we're itching towards that six on wood mark and uh, things are looking solid right now. See our opponent is on gold, only two villages on gold, so nothing to be too concerned about there. There we are, going to go to the wood line now because those villages that were going to wood will go into the straggler tree, of course. We couldn't afford a lumber camp, but now we can. And so we go to the lumber camp. Okay, so yeah, we we'll keep on rallying to wood until we get six on wood. And once we do get six on wood, we're going to start rallying villages that come from the town centre to the gold. We want to get up to six villages on gold in total. There's two already on gold. There's one coming from the Barbican of the Sun once it's built. And so we're going to get the next three villages to gold. Here we are, just waypointing it there, and uh, we're going to be shift clicking, well, um, control grouping rather, four villages off of food, because we can afford that Imperial Academy very soon to get the Song Dynasty, and uh, we're going to be placing that now, and once we do that, those four villages 
Once they've built the Imperial Academy, although they will go back to food, so bear that in mind. And uh, we're going to talk about the adaptation soon, but we're going to drop the Narchi range now that we're in the Feudal Age. So that's going to be ready to go for the Jugni spam once we get there. And uh, to talk about the adaptation though, once we do get the Imperial Academy, we're going to build and train one more Imperial Official. Now that Imperial Official will collect a bit of tax from a nearby drop-off point, drop it off. And this is where things change. You can either go for a Zhugnu spam at the six minute mark. That second Imperial Official will supervise the archery range. Or if you want to go for a bit of a delayed Zhugnu spam by one minute, but you want to get super strong eco, you can actually queue up another two Imperial Officials. That second Imperial Official from the uh, Imperial Academy will actually go to supervise the gold. And that will fund the uh, extra Imperial Officials. And then you get the third Imperial Official to supervise the wood and the fourth uh, Imperial Official to supervise the archery range. And that's when the Zhugni spam will really start there. We're going to go with that second demonstration because now, right now, we're going to be queuing up that second Imperial Official. And this second Imperial Official can pick up some taxes. And we're going to be demonstrating how we're going to go for the gold mine and then get two extra Imperial Officials. You can see it's almost a six minute mark. This is the Imperial Official that comes out. He could either supervise the archery range to spam out Zhugnu or as we're going to do now, drop off some gold and then supervise the mining camp. We're queuing up some more Imperial Officials. Now that we've got six villages on gold, the new villages from the town center will need to go to food. That's super important so that you can afford constant production because it's a little bit tight, but you will manage it if it's all done uh, neatly. And we're still producing Zhugnu, by the way. Um, that is a definite given. You want to be producing those Zhugnu as soon as you hit the Song Dynasty. We're also going to be getting a blacksmith for the Steeled Arrow upgrade. Now you can delay that, you know, you can drop an outpost if you're under pressure and you need to, because of course you've only got a couple of units, so Steeled Arrow will be coming into effect and really helpful when you've got a bit more of a mass. But as you can see, that third Imperial Official has come out, going to be uh, supervising the Lumber Camp. And now the fourth Imperial Official to come out will be supervising that Archie range. And once that happens, you'll be good to go. We'll be looking strong to put on a lot of pressure. Once you hit about 14 to 15 villages on food, you can then start rallying villages to wood. And that'd be super important. You can also look to get double broad axe um, if you so wish. That will help with your economy for sure. And as you can see, we've queued up Steel Dare and now we're pumping. We're pumping up those Jugnu at seven minutes with the fourth Imperial Official. So the reason why I love this build order is because you can be super aggressive, pump out Jugnu at six minutes, or you can do what we've done here and go for four Imperial Officials and still pump out Zhugnu at seven minutes. Depends what civilization matchup you're up, you're up against and how badly you want to punish your opponent. And you've got the choice there and it's super adaptable. But I hope you guys enjoy this build order tutorial. And if you would like to have access to the PDF versions, then if you already have access to my PDF versions, it will be there on the most updated one. Um, if you don't have them and you'd like them, do check out the video description. I'll have some instructions on how you can grab hold of them. Anyway, just to let you know, I am also starting an Age of Empires 4 coaching series with me being coached by a professional player. If you want to check out that series, I think it's going to be super awesome and really, really good learning experience if you want to improve at the game. Check out that right-hand card screen now. I'll take you to the playlist there. Take care and see you next time.